So now, health we know is your most important asset. It's everybody's number one most important asset. It is everything to us. <clears throat> Second you lose it, nothing else matters at all. So the question is, is when you look at yourself and your kids and how you're raised and your families, uh, what do you base your health on? I mean, how is it do you know you're healthy or not? Um, a lot of people that I've spoken to around the country will tell me that it's how I look, um, whether I look good to myself. I think I'm pretty okay if I am not too overweight and I feel pretty good and my face is skinny. I mean, if I, if I look good, then I'm okay. If I feel good, then I'm all right. I mean, you only take your kids to the doctor most of the time when they feel bad. That if they don't feel bad, then they must be healthy, right? And that's what we assume. Uh, or maybe you're asymptomatic, meaning maybe you have high blood pressure or, or diabetes or heart disease or something like that, cholesterol, and you're taking a medication, and that medication is masking those symptoms so you don't feel that stuff anymore or never did, and because the test said you had to take it, you did. Um, are you necessarily healthy because of that? No, it's, it's, it's just masking a problem. I mean, our question is, what is why is it that you're breaking down like that? Why is it you're, you're having to take the medication in the first place? So medication numbs the body. It interferes with the body's ability to naturally heal and take care of itself. Proper function um, is what we're looking for. Now, if you mask the body, mask a symptom with a medication, is a problem still there? Yeah, absolutely it is. So when you look at health, we cannot base it on how we feel, how we look, or whether we're taking a medication to mask a symptom because there's there's not has nothing to do with, with health. Health, if you look at Dorland's Medical Dictionary or Gray's Anatomy or whatever, health, health is defined as the body's proper functioning mentally, spiritually, physically, emotionally, and not merely just the absence of disease or sickness. So it's function. Your body's got to function correctly. It's 100% function. We know that. So you always have to start with function. That's what we always start with function in the body, in our office, and whatever we do. Before food, before fitness, before anything, we have to get your body functioning correctly. Okay, so now that's the case. So what allows the body to properly function? Well, that's what your chiropractic adjustments are for. Our uh, chiropractic adjustments, they do one thing and one thing only. They remove interference between the brain controlling and allowing the body to function correctly. So the brain sends messages down the spinal cord, out the nerves. If your vertebrae shift out of position, pinch the nerve, shuts off the ability for it to function. And so that's the problem. So we got to get your body functioning better so you can optimally be as healthy as you possibly can. So every single time you come to get adjusted, it's, you're not just coming in here and driving and spending money and your time. We're every single time getting your body functioning better than it was. You're investing in your life, you're investing in your health. To get adjusted is the only thing that it does is remove interference to allow you to function better, to allow your body to be healthier so that you can be optimally live as long as you're supposed to live, have full quality of life and enjoy the things that you want to do. And that's what the chiropractic adjustment does. It removes the interference to allow the brain to communicate with the body 100%.